MSNBC's Rachel Maddow joined The View and shared that she's worried Trump will come for her and others if elected. Let's watch. So you said recently that you thought that you, as an outspoken critic, could be a target yourself. Some people think that sounds overdramatic, but I'm right there with you. I think that he is so um, vindictive yeah. that he will go after, however he has to, through the IRS, maybe, uh, or even uh, you know, uh, through sponsors to get us off the air, FCC. maybe, and, or you. Yeah. Um, how seriously should we be taking that? Well... Uh, so I was asked, am I worried about me? And my answer was, I'm worried about all of us. I'm no, yeah. no more worried about me than I am worried about everybody in the right. country. Yeah. I think it's bad to have somebody saying, give me as much power as you can in this country so I can use it to go after other Americans. So I can yeah. use it to go after these yeah. subhuman internal enemies and I'll yeah. destroy them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's just not a good system for anybody. And I don't think anybody's safe. I think there's a pattern where he picks out individual people mm -hmm. and effectively terrorizes them. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, there's yeah. Stormy yeah. Daniels wearing a bulletproof vest to yeah. get yeah. into it's ridiculous. the courthouse. What Maddow was also asked if Democrats should have a backup plan for Biden. Watch. Trump continues to outperform Biden in key battleground states. Is there a world in which Democrats should have a backup plan for Joe, Joe Biden? A backup plan? Uh, if he like, needed to be replaced on the ticket. If we're three months out and Trump's still beating him in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, North Carolina. I mean, I, I think the backup plan is run a better campaign, right? Yes. I, I just, I don't, there's no reason that Joe, I mean, Joe Biden's record as a president yeah. is a very, very strong record. I mean, we are, are, we are the economic envy of the world. Right. Doesn't mean our economy is perfect, but literally we are the envy of the world. We've got a better situation mm -hmm. than anybody. We've got unemployment rates that we haven't seen in generations. We've got economic growth that any major country in the world would kill for. Yeah, but that's not and the information wait, wait, that they're wait, getting. On wait, 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 wait. But it's true. And so Biden doesn't, Biden, Biden hasn't been disqualified from running for the presidency yeah. by anything having to do with any of his performance. It's just that it's going to be a tough fight. Yeah. And so I think the backup plan is fight harder. Yeah. Yeah. The backup plan is make sure you win the Senate. The backup plan mm. is people should volunteer earlier. Mm -hmm. and do more and give more money and do all of those things. And there's no reason, I think, to have it be, the, the, there be this fantasy that Biden's not the president and that right. Biden isn't the nominee. He is and he's going to be. And I yeah. think that's, that's a fixed variable. Hmm. I think the problem with that argument is that, yes, we are, you, the U.S. is the economic envy of the world. We, we are, compared to the rest of the world, we're doing great. That was also true under Donald Trump's presidency, and in fact, that was true under Donald Trump's presidency, and inflation was not as bad, and people have a very fond memories, small business, large business, um, workers, people have very fond memories of the econ economic situation under Donald Trump. So I don't know that that argument that like, things are really great right now, I mean, things are generally pretty good in America, obviously there are policies, you know, that we argue about or things should be different, but it was still, a, a, it was a great country uh, be before COVID happened, which ruining Donald Trump's whole presidency, things were pretty good. It's it's um it's a lot it's a big stretch though to dismiss the impact of COVID on America. Oh no, and I'm the, not dismissing and the it. Trump but it was presidency, not Trump's, right? It was not Trump's doing. And and, it it, not... and up until then, yeah, they're they're you know the maddows of the world were talking about how Trump could have a second term. Yeah. Right until COVID, mismanagement, you know, deaths of a couple million people. Um, the chaos, right, the vibes of Trump were also problematic for a lot of people. They're like just, it feels um, that we are abnormal, we're out of whack. And so much of the Biden campaign, which the entire thing was done in COVID, was about a return to normalcy. Yeah. And now things feel normal in that way. Now we're back to bad politics as usual, right? The, the idea of um, fractured systems and are people truly getting represented when they vote, that that is a massive problem. That is a structural issue that we have that has resulted in two machines that very early in a process, a couple of, a handful of states get to decide who is the person that comes up from those two machines and now those two people duke it out. I don't like that system. It is the binary choice that we have. The conventions are just a formality at this point mm -hmm. for what we know these two parties are going to put before us. So yeah. I do understand and, and do at this point, however much I don't like it, agree with Rachel's point that these two candidates need to earn people's votes. But these are the two candidates that we have in front of us. Yeah, there's very little to do about it now. Um, they could 
technically still at the Democratic National Convention make some change. I think it is extremely, extraordinarily unlikely that they would do that. Um, I, I, I don't know that it would be a mistake to do it, given that Biden is is behind by a lot of the metrics. Um, you know, he's losing in the polls to Trump. Um, I saw Eric Levitz of Vox point this out. He is losing currently, even though he has been spending, the Biden campaign has been spending tons of advertising money on behalf of Biden. Trump has spent nothing mm -hmm. so far on all of that. It's not even an equal battle. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not an equal battle yet. Um, Trump hasn't been... You know, he's been dealing with the trial. He's not been on the airwaves, and he's still ahead. Um, no one expect. You know, Biden is not expected to win several already of the states that he had picked up in 2020. Your Georgia, Arizona, etc. It will again come down to the states Hillary lost, giving Biden the pre or giving Trump the presidency in 2016. The Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and. I mean, it's a, it's a grim picture for him there. So then the question is, like, is it riskier to leave him on the, t to not, do I, I understand it would be crazy and dramatic if they did something last minute at the convention, if they changed something else. That would be a wild and out there move that would not necessarily be a good one. But if they're going to lose anyway, why not try it? Well, the, the, the part of the challenge, right, is that where we are right now is with an electorate that is not nearly as plugged in as we are or want, you know, our viewers and talking about the back and forth and polls are every day and they're a dime a dozen. Yeah. The October period of when there's a real awareness of in, in broader voters of, oh, there's an election coming up. Let me tune in and see how I feel now. I mean, frankly, the fact that we have a year and a half campaign is bonkers to me. And I, you know, I'm numb to it most of the time. Uh, the British system, publicly funded, three months, you're done. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, that, that actually would allow me to tune in, plug in, in a way that fits in with actually living my life and, and then let people do you know, the things they need to do. Be that at you its want to put me out of a job? What would we talk about? Well, the, the rest as I said, this be, I, I yeah, realized like, what I was doing here is like, well, this is actually what I idea. do yeah. for a living. Yeah. Um, but, and I still hate it, right? Like that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's how bad it is. The, um, the idea that right now, today, is going to determine everything, like, that, okay, we, we have anxiety. Trump says the crazy things about democracy. He is better trained now of what to do with governance than he was before. So they have plans and tools and ideas in place that they actually know how to execute about um, you know, changing the Constitution, about how you know change administration functions, and really making it about Trump and his acolytes and not about what a broad coalition of different people look like. The saving grace in all of this is going to be not Democratic voters or uh, you know, Republican, you know, the Trump voters who are with him. Uh, it is the majority of the voting population that is now unaffiliated with either party, hmm. right? And they are going to be watching, but they will be increasingly more aware as we get closer to the election. And hopefully at that point, the anxiety will turn to action. Um, but the hand-wringing of people inside the machine about convention or not convention, I'm like, hmm. listen, folks are still trying to just get to work and get through the summer. I mean, there are a lot of Americans who support Trump and, and, and want him to affirmatively accomplish those mm -hmm. things in the second term, you know, the Project 2025, the wholesale firing of the vast federal bureaucracy, the red tape that prevents the economy from, from functioning properly, that makes it impossible to start businesses, to build houses, to fix so much that has gone wrong with various sectors of our economy. Uh, that is, Trump has said that he's going to, or his people, his supporters, if they get into office, want to clean out the administrative state. Um, and that is, uh, that is a reason for Republicans to vote for him. Uh, there's some distrust that that will be accomplished, because why didn't that take place last time? But to your point, maybe they, maybe they have a, 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 more, a better understanding of how the levers work now and might be able to operate them to accomplish this thing that conservatives actually do want. So ultimately, uh, this is going to be a referendum on Trump. Um, if you are truly scared about another Trump presidency, then that means you have to vote for the alternative Why is Trump. it not a referendum and, on and the incumbent? Be, because Trump, as you said, is the one that everyone is talking about, right? That he is the one who has this fervent base, and we have a, a big group of people that are just not energized about the election. So that idea of if you are worried about Trump becoming president and you're concerned about that, not only don't vote for him, activate 
for the guy against him. And also, blame the Republican Party for Trump, right? He is run on the Republican ticket. No other Republican was able to create a coalition or get opposition. Like, there's something fundamentally wrong with what used to be the GOP if Trump is the ideal conservative principle candidate, I don't right? Agree so, that like, it's that is the. It's a referendum on Biden. Biden is the president. He's been so for four years. It's a referendum on gas prices and housing prices and food prices. It's a referendum on the man you hear speaking at that podium, and you have to imagine being president for another four years. It's a referendum on him. And a lot of Americans saying, man, I don't, I don't like Trump's vibes. I don't like the crazy things he says. I certainly don't like what he did to stay in power, but um, I have to think about my grocery bill. I have to think about um, what federal agencies are coming after the small business I work for. I have to think about um, whether I, I trust the person in charge to negotiate trade deals and peace treaties, and I just don't know if that guy has it in him for four more years. Yeah, it's like the, the crazy you know versus well, we, we, know, we know both, right? There's, well, we do, well, we do know both. This is a, both. It's a, it's a rematch, are, the likes of which are, we've not seen in like 100 years. Which we didn't, nobody really wanted to see this rematch. It's that's fun to, that's the problem. Nobody wanted to see this rematch, that's but true. we've had four years of Trump, four years of Biden. Um, decide, come November, which person you would like to continue. Sure. And, Although, and there's other people on the ballot, too. And, and I would say, I, I would choose RFK between Jr. Trump and Biden, not between Mr. Worm from Brains. <laughs> Well, I don't... Worms and brains. Okay, that's... that's I don't think I that's... Just, he, 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 had a, he had a brain injury that was treated the... the I don't know what... Yeah, people made a lot of fun of him for that, but he's, he, he had, he's had injuries, he's had health problems that he's treated. He's a spring chicken if compared you, to Biden and Trump. If we are able to talk about Biden not being able to dance well at the White House, okay. right, and tease him and call that daughter... I said, because, no, I didn't like, call that. Like, I, like any, uh, I said I didn't care about that, and I wouldn't have danced either, and it's stupid. Because I, I, um, I don't know any president who's been considered a good dancer by any measure. Yeah, is, I, is there, I right? don't have evidence um, for that. But yeah, that has to be one of my favorite... Trump and, has great moves. Oh. The, you you not seen this? I just I just think of you know this and like what that means on the dance okay. floor for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, that does it for us for today. Uh, before I embarrass myself any further, uh, thank you so much, Nayera, for uh, being part of the show. We really appreciated it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. And for those of you who like to listen while on the go, we're now available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. See you later.